Alright guys, welcome back to episode 2. Uh, as you can tell, I just went ahead and finished the first episode, now I'm going to start the second one. Um, this game, this game is something. Uh, I'm going to be fixing the audio soon, I know it's a little loud. But it's absolutely gorgeous, like I said in the last video. I'm going to go with Hufflepuff because most people hate on Hufflepuff. Uh, you know, I can see why. Um, some of the coolest characters were not in Hufflepuff. In fact, mostly all of the coolest characters were not in Hufflepuff. But that's what I got, um, and I think it kind of fits me pretty good. Um, I do have patience, loyalty, and I believe I work hard. Um, but yeah, let's kick this off and get this going. I'm very, very excited to continue this story. Uh, yeah, this game's going to be special, and let's do it. Better be Hufflepuff! Yeah! Hufflepuff! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Oh, wow. Okay. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. Okay. There's you are here to start, focus Black. on your academic futures. Okay. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Let's get out of here. Professor Black, I'm out. Study time. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Let's do it, shall we? Let's do it. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. <laughs> two from the bottom? In the middle row? Right, something like that? Ha! <laughs> I'm as confused as you, buddy. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. Oh. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep you. well. Oh, Professor Weasley's gonna be a goon. You can already tell it runs in the family. It runs in the family. She's gonna be a goon. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh. For our first day, we got our Hufflepuff outfit on. You got the yellow and the black. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. The common room? Welcome to Hogwarts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a second and change some settings. So, yeah, I'll uh, we'll be back in a second. Rebellion. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just finished my settings. I didn't change a lot of stuff. I just changed the uh, depth of view and the field of view. Um, turn down my settings a little bit so it'll be a little less, uh, there'll be less screen tears. It'll be less, like, jittery. Um, and turn down the music because it was blasting. I left the music high, uh, in the first video though because I wanted y'all to actually hear every little thing. Sorry if I talked a little too much. I'm just very excited for this game. Um, but let's get started. It looks like there's some things in this beginning room that I can do. 
So let's do it. Oh, we're sipping tea? Where's the coffee? Sure. Why not? All right. Um, let's see. Some more stuff over here, I believe. I was incorrect, but there is something here. Apples? All right, we can, we can eat a glitchy apple. Fantastic. Um, okay. What do you say we take off into this world? Can we eat some more apples? Hey, let's get the red apples instead of the green apples, shall we? Let's do it. Opening doors. Welcome to this beautiful, beautiful world. Oh, it's so gorgeous. What is this? Can we... Is this a... Not yet, okay. I'm gonna be running around a little bit, guys. Uh, All I can say is, it's lucky the boys have their own dormitories. What is the that? mess they make. I thought it would be hard adjusting to clarity. I was just... What did that say? Oh no, okay. Uh, let's go over here. This is gorgeous. Everyone's talking. The dialogue is perfect. I suppose some introductions are in order. Absolutely. Let's introduce ourselves to Everly. That's how you say it. It's an owl. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Uh, I, have I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. <laughs> I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> I love how they joke about At least it. people it's have always nice. told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Thank you, I do. Nice to meet you. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, nah. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Everybody's got their opinions. She isn't special. Is that a ghost? <laughs> that's a ghost. There's some more apples. That's that's a ghost. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Oh dear. Okay. I only speak up in class. Oh, uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Yes. I that one is true. That's true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Thank you. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Thank you. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. I don't want to get oh, into anybody's business this early Arthur's got you. It's all right. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. <laughs> I want a cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Let me go, Come on, right. he went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> true. True. I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. 
best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Luck. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Oh, well, yes, I am. I and Professor Weasley, I'm feeling this goes to be one of the sweetest and nicest and best characters in this game. So let's go. Shift in the blood. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? Absolutely. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Awesome. Ha! Huh. What? Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Let's do it. Shall we? This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Revelio. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Lumos. Revelio. We cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide. Is. Huh. House of history book. the only way. Okay. This is your wizard? Okay, that's pretty good. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Oh huh. That's neat. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall.
Okay. You can fast travel throughout the castle. Castle isn't that big, surely, right? No way. Impossible. I hope it is, actually. I hope it is absolutely gigantic, and I simply get lost every turn. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay, let's do it. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Okay. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Okay, well, I do know what all of these are. Uh, let's do Dark Arts. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends butter in due course. Amazing. And in the charm, everybody should know that. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you <laughs> outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Fantastic. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. You'd be correct. So, this is what I wonder. I wonder if I say there is, in fact, if that's all I say. Because if that's all I say, then fantastic. But if I lie and say I'm afraid there isn't. Listen, Professor Weasley, I mean, she's a Weasley. I trust in the Weasleys. Let's do it. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Absolutely. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah. Uh. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. There we go. So, Professor Fig. Okay. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? 
Yes, it was nothing, sir. I'm glad that saves so much. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. I am absolutely excited about this quest. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, Focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Did you see Claire's hair today? She tried a color changing color. Especially the color of dragon dung. Do you think we'll learn how to brew our Mortensia? Okay. Strongest love potion. Um, I'm gonna end the second episode here. Uh, when we come back, we are going to do these two main quests, which I think will be our first time in the Dark Arts class and the Charm class. I'm super excited about the Dark Arts class. I don't see how you couldn't be. Um, let's get it going. If I wasn't Hufflepuff, I would be in Slytherin, but Hufflepuff chose me. So, thank you guys again for watching. Hope you're excited, because I'm excited. This game is beautiful. This map is absolutely gorgeous. There's so much to explore collections challenges i mean let's take a look at our gear our gear let's let's just see what we have um what is this and no thank you uh how do i unequip that let's see let's uh we're gonna do that um Let's see. I thought I might have something else. Let's see here. I think that looks kind of cool, actually. Face wear, no. Head wear. Um. So we should be able to see stuff the further we get to the main story. There's all kinds of stuff though. Um, oh my gosh. So much. So much. But yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you in episode 3. Peace.